Coming up to the grid now with Paul Morris on Collars. Tony Longhurst, his teammate, Dead Morris, Blanchard, Ward, Doolman. And in the Sierra, young Stephen Elry, who's been very, very competitive in that car in this series. Well, it's my first look around the island with the two-litre cars. They should be really evenly matched here. It's the sort of circuit that should let them flow off the line now. Longhurst, he gets the power down. Morris got bogged down. Blanchard with a nice start in the blue and yellow car. Over the top of the hill now, it's still Longhurst. Blanchard looks all right, and Morris has missed the start off. Bad luck. Phil Ward and the Mercedes is out of it. Ha <laughs> ha, that robs the race of plenty. The big Merck would have been a handful round here. Longhurst now, leading the way. Morris gets up in a second. And Dillman, the current defending champion of two-litre racing, is bumped back to fourth. Blanchard doing well. And look at Morris, he's coming up here, takes the tight corner, he's going right in there close, and uh, Longhurst has managed to stay right where he is in second place. Oh, Morris getting plenty of angles, he hit the ripple strips there in the Diet Coke car now, should get the inside running now on Longhurst, does so. Blanchard like a little terrier, like a cat along with a boat, won't let him go though. Beautiful circuit, as you can see with these little cars, they can get three, four wide across the circuit, and it really does make for good looking stuff. Blanchard and Morris, you're looking back at them. I said the island would be great for these cars. The V8's a quick round here, but these cars can really drive this circle almost flat out, I would think. And look in there, you can see there on the left-hand side of the screen, you can see the little Toyota Carina creeping up there. That's the car fish out of the British Touring Car Championship last year. Yeah, Murphy, the man doing so well in the brave of driving the uh, very pretty little Toyota Carina. The first time I've seen one outside of the Great Britain. Looks good too. He sits up his fourth. I tell you what, he's got some time to Murphy, hasn't he? Oh, he certainly has, Darrell. I mean, to jump straight out of 300 horsepower in a Formula Brabham into this thing, front wheel drive and 290 horses, he's got it. There's no doubt about that. High speed train as they come down the start finish line again. Take the dip down. It's Longhurst on the inside. Got the better line. Morris now. Oh, Morris round the outside. I'll tell you what, they're nice and big. His 44 gallon drums. No doubt about that as he comes around. Ah, oh, brave move. This is good stuff. This is out of that little camera in the front of Ellery's car, and he's right up there too. He's not going to let them walk away just because they're BMWs. Blanchard, I noticed now, he's just nudged his way up in uh, in front of them both. So Blanchard has had a big brave move. I got a, a glimpse of that. Gee whiz, he showed some good stuff here. Blanchard really has got the old model car wound up. He certainly has. They don't want to look uh, look over their shoulders because he's right there every time. And look at that Toyota. It's up there into third. See plenty of smoke coming out of Doolman's car as he locks it up. Beautiful angle here. That's what it looks like from the driver's point of view. Morris now again being terrorised by Blanchard. Blanchard pretty competitive in this little car. He's done a great job so far in the series. Older car, not as sophisticated, but he's doing a good job. Morris seems to be having a little bit of trouble coming out of the high-speed corners. But the car seems to lift up on its suspension. Keep your eye out for it. And look at Ellery there, he's moved up as well. That's the beautiful thing about this circuit, they can really move these cars around on the wide sort of track. Stephen Ellery in the little uh, Ford Sierra, that's the ex Glen Seaton Group A car, it's equipped himself very well in this series now. Round they go again, it's still Morris and Blanchard. Ellery there now. And you can see the little uh, Toyota Carina. Chit's a pretty car, and Murphy's done a great job. I mean, a bloke that hasn't had a lot of tip top experience, he's right up there and mixing it with the best of them. Morris on the outside, there's Blanchard, you're riding with Paul Morris now. Works the gearbox, onto the brakes now. Ha <laughs> ha, Ellery comes through, we're set up for a great stage here. Stay with us, back after the break. Welcome back to Phillip Island. Some exciting stuff here from the two leaders. You're looking at Blanchard holding out Morris now. Blanchard in the older car. Gee whiz, he's, he's been wound up today. Morris's car there seems to get a little bit light on the suspension. I'm not quite sure, but it seems to lift up a little bit. But uh, there you are riding now with Morris and tucks it behind Blanchard. That car of Blanchard has been going very, very well all weekend. Right from the moment they took it out of the truck, he's been right there within tenths of seconds of everybody else. 
Now, Morris, lovely line there as he comes through, but Blanchard's in, not quite there. I'll take the line back, thank you very much. They come on to the start, finish line again. Now, Morris should have the mumbo. He should have the grunt here. It's right in behind Blanchard's car. Blanchard, though, I tell you what, no slams down the straight. He's certainly not, and he's not giving away any space on those lines, too. If you want it, you're going to have to take it. Morris does, though, aggressive line. Nicely done. Thanks him too for giving him a little bit of room, Morris. Well done, nice driving. Takes the inside line for this corner. Now we're getting some interesting stuff here. Now he was a little bit wider that time round. Great pictures out of the uh, Morris car there as the cars. And have a look at that. A new sponsor coming into the sport with Oryx Fleet Management. They've taken up the uh, the option on the Toyota. And we're riding now with Greg Murphy. Look at him work that sequential gearbox. Yeah, nicely set up little motor car this, and when they sort it out, the way it's gone today, it should be pretty competitive. Murphy doing a terrific job with the little Carina. There it is now as he slips in front of Blanchard. Longhurst now coming back into contention again. Had a bit of traffic to fight Tony Longhurst, and you can see him just squeezing his way through back in contention. Simpson behind Murphy in the Toyota Carina now. Morris still leading. The, Car the Carina gets a little bit dusty round there. Longhurst waits to pounce. Check out that bumper of Murphy. He's had a bit of a nudge there. That little Japanese car and the all-European sandwich but he's going to take it around the outside is he what is it's a pretty brave move and he pulls it off ah oh, it doesn't handle all that bad no it's certainly a different looking car to watch handle too that front wheel drive only one in the field with front wheel drive and it drags itself through the corners so now morris and the pretty little bmw longhurst in the same car same stable different sponsors down they come. Let's have a look at the Carina in a straight line now. Longhurst blasts his way into second place. That Carina sounds great too. It's really got it wound up. And those guys, have they've had a year to work it out in the UK and it's really on song. No doubt about that. Longhurst pretty quick through there though too. Sits in a nice line. Murphy's done a great job to lead this in a car that is really brand new to this country, brand new to the circuit. They haven't had a lot of testing time because of a fire involving the car in qualifying. Now he's had a bit of trouble with a rear spoiler. He could lose that. This has been a big effort. Certainly has, and Greg didn't set himself in that car until Thursday afternoon. He'd never even seen it until we put it on the track here at Phillip Island. Oh, gets a little bit of sideways as he comes down, the little downhill run, driving the wheels off. The Carina is Murphy. Oh, gee, I'm impressed with this young bud. Came over here with a Formula Brabham's. He spanked all their bottoms over here, and now he's doing good with a roof on his head. Longhurst, though, lots of experience and knows this place pretty well. Shadows the Toyota round, just waiting for an opportunity. And have a look at the side of the, uh, the BM. It's had a nice bit of work done to it. Yeah, he's like a big cat waiting to pounce. He knows he's got the legs on the Toyota, and he's going to do it. You watch him come over the top of the hill here, down the inside. Yeah, Longhurst knew that if he could just get on the inside, Murphy's not going to give up the corner without a fight, though. Looking back from Longhurst to Murphy. Then it's Paul Morris. Then it's Blanchard. The little Carina working its little head off here at the island. Morris closes up now. Back into that sandwich again, but Greg's very calm. He's very relaxed about his racing. Enjoys every single minute he puts in behind the wheel. Tony Longhurst out in front. Morris now joins him. Right up on the inside of the Carina. Gives him a bit of a squeeze. Blanchard on the outside run. Longhurst, though, flashes down the straight. Morris on the inside. The Carina sandwiched in the middle. And Blanchard having a big look. Morris now into second place. Murphy back to third. Blanchard ball. Longhurst in front. Look at that. There's Morris, there's Murphy, there's Alry. All the young boys of the sport. They are really starting to show their colours. This classification is going to work for them. Murphy on the outside, side by side for Morris. Morris will get the run. Murphy will get the run into this one, though, with a bit of luck. Oh, catch the foot right into it, too. But Morris is going to pinch the spot. Morris now sits in behind Longhurst. Murphy still has a chance. And Murphy's going to just miss out. Oh, gee whiz. You can't get any braver than him. I tell you what, he doesn't mind keeping the foot right down on the floor. Absolutely beautiful pictures here from Phillip Island. Not only it's the scenery's good, but it's it looks good. Look at that. There's the uh, the car. It just goes to show you how close Elry is in there too. He's hanging in there with a much older car. You can see the flag marshal waving the blue flag, letting them know if they think you've only got to look in the mirror if you've got a chance. And all you can see is car, 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 car. They're everywhere. Longhurst still in front now. Morris, teammate in the dive car, sits in behind him. The big mover is 
speed play, it's out now, Ellery pitches a spot, is it? Just saw a flash of blue, oh, get any closer than that, we're in a tunnel. That's spectacular stuff, he's right up there, he's been trying very hard, just doesn't quite have the legs to pull them back. Well, Ellery's only got a couple of corners to do it. That's Morris in the Diet Coke car. Ellery, plenty of pressure on him, and Murphy sits in behind him. Longhurst leads him around, though. Couple of corners to go, and here they go. This will be the run to the line now. Longhurst looks OK. Morris, look at Murphy. Murphy in. It is an Ellery, and I think Murphy got it. That Kiwi who said they can't fly. Oh, boy. Longhurst is first. Morris is second. And a big finish from Greg Murphy in the little toy over Karina. She wins it, came out of there, got the slingshot on that final bend. Recapping now, Tony Longhurst, Paul Morris, Greg Murphy, Steve Ellery, John Blanchard, Peter Dillman. That's how they finished in a good race here at the island.